going to talk today a little bit about saving files on your iPad. So everything you do on your iPad is going to be saved in one of three different places. Um, if you take a photo or maybe shoot some video with your camera app, then all of those things are going to be saved in your Photos app. That Photos app will also contain any screenshot that you take with your device. You also have the ability to create and save things in Google. And anything that you save and do in Google is going to get saved in the Google Drive app. When you open it for the first time, it'll ask you to sign in. And once you've signed in, you'll access all of the Google Drive files that you've ever created. They, they could be docs, sheets, slides, Google Sites. All of those things are going to show up right here in your Drive app. But there's a third app that probably doesn't get used as much, but is actually a pretty powerful tool. And that is something called the Files app. The Files app is the main place where your iPad likes to save things that are not Google or not pictures or uh, screenshots. And so if I open up my Files app, it looks like this. Now on the left-hand side, I have a few different options on where I can save things. I, I have a Recents, which will show me recently edited or created files. I have a spot for iCloud Drive and on my iPad. Now things that are saved on my iPad um, are not backed up. So you want to try to avoid saving things on your iPad if possible, because if something ever happens to your device, or if your device has to be replaced, then anything that was saved on your iPad is going to be lost. The only files that are saved are things that are either in your photo library, in your Google Drive, or in your iCloud Drive, which again lives right here in the Files app. Now, I'm going to start talking about iCloud Drive for a minute. When I open up iCloud Drive, I have an option up here at the top to make folders. And I can make as many folders as I want. So I can simply click to add a folder and give it a name for maybe this is my miscellaneous files folder. And hit done, and it creates that folder. Now, anytime I wanted to save something, uh, when I'm in that app, no matter what app that is, I can tell it to save it to my files. So let's say I'm in an app like Clips or iMovie. Uh, when I've created my movie or finished creating it, I can simply hit my share arrow, and this gives me an option uh, that has saved to files as one of those choices. So you will see in this little share sheet a lot of times the ability to save things to your files app. And when you tell it to do that, that files app is where it goes. Now in here, you will see the ability to save on your iPad, which again is not backed up, or you can save to iCloud Drive, which is going to show you all of your folders to pick and choose from. So maybe I wanted this to go into that miscellaneous files folder, and then I hit and click save, and it's going to export my movie, and it's going to put it into that folder. And so if I go back into my files app and look, if I ever needed to get to that again, I would simply open up my miscellaneous files folder and there is that movie project. Now I can do the same thing uh, with Google Docs. So let's say I'm in my Drive app and maybe I open up a Google assignment. Maybe this is something I've been working on. I finished and completed this document and I wanted to also save it in my files app to have a copy. So what I can do is tap my three dots I could tell it to share and export this file, and I can tell it to send a copy. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna keep one copy in my Google Drive, but then I can also choose to send a PDF version of it into my Files app. So it asks me where I want it to go. I tell it to again, save two files, and then again, choose which folder I wanted it to go to. So maybe this is a health document. So I would choose the health folder and click save, and then those things are going to get saved to that folder. Now there's a couple hidden tricks that exist in the Files app that I want to point out. The first is the ability to actually turn Google Drive on in your Files app. So I'm in my Files app here, and in the upper left-hand corner, I have this little three dots. If I tap on those three dots, I can tell it to edit the sidebar. And when I do that, there's an option that says Google Drive. When I turn that on, what this will do, tap done, uh, this gives me access to my Google Drive right here in the Files app without even having to go to the Google Drive app if I want. 
So I can simply open this up and I will see all of the files that exist in my Google Drive right here in the Files app. And if I needed to open something, all I would simply have to do is tap on it and it would simply open it up in Drive to be able to make changes. So let me talk to you about another hidden feature in the Files app, and that is the ability to scan documents. So let's say I have a piece of paper that I've been working on uh, just in class, and I wanted to be able to create a digital copy of that piece of paper. Um, I can do that using my Files app. So the first thing I need to do is I need to make sure I highlight where I want this to go um, before I scan it. So if I wanted it to be in that miscellaneous files folder, I would simply go into that folder first before I scanned it. Or if I just wanted it to be in my Google Drive, I could do that by clicking on my Google Drive. But you have to pay attention to where it's gonna go. If I have my Google Drive selected and then scan, it will save it into my Google Drive as well. But in this case, I want it to go right here into my iCloud Drive. So I'm gonna tap these three dots at the top and there's an option in here that says scan documents. Now when I click on this, this is gonna activate my camera. And from here, I can hover my camera over a piece of paper or document and hold the camera steady. And it will zap that and save it to the bottom. Now if I had multiple pages, I could go ahead and add multiple pages to it. But if I'm finished with it, I will just go ahead and tap save. Now, you probably noticed in the bottom of my iCloud Drive, I have a new document that popped up here called Scan Document 2. So if I tap on that, this is my scan document that I scanned using my iPad. Now, in this scan document, I also have the ability to use my markup tools. So if I tap my markup tool button, I could actually use my highlighter, uh, markers, and be able to draw and add things to this document and annotate right on top of it. In fact, I can even hit my plus sign here and add text, a uh, little magnifier glasses on here if I want to, uh, and do some other cool things to point things out. When I'm done, I simply tap done, and then those changes are saved right onto that document. Now maybe I want this document to live in a folder, so I'm simply gonna tap on it with my finger and drag it into a folder and let go to be able to reorganize it. So you have two browsers on your iPad. You have Safari and you have Chrome. And Safari allows you to download files. So if I'm using Safari and I happen to download something, it actually puts it in your iCloud Drive, which lives in your Files app. So if I open up my Files app and go to iCloud Drive, I have a folder here called Downloads, and this is where I'll find anything that I had downloaded off the internet. So this is some free play music that I downloaded for a soundtrack to a movie, uh, and if I need to be able to find that later, that's where it lives, is in my Downloads folder. Now, why should I care so much about saving everything in the Files app? Besides keeping things organized, um, this is probably the best part. Anything that I have saved in my Files app, all I have to do is simply open it up. Here is my movie that I saved earlier. Here's my scan document. If I simply go to select in the corner and tap on one or multiple documents uh, and choose the one I want, I now have a share button at the bottom. And when I tell it to share, I get a share sheet that has a link directly to Canvas to be able to share these files right into Canvas to turn anything in. So I tap student, it will then ask me to choose my course. I can choose which course this goes to. And then once I've chosen my course, I would choose the assignment that it gets turned into. And then once I've chosen that assignment, I would simply hit submit to turn that in. So that's how you can use the Files app to organize your stuff and to make sure that you know where things are being saved on your device at all times.